glove up. Look for the camera. Let me go get the dog. So look, guys, we're about to do a collection here. You guys, somebody says, hey, what's the best? AITCI or um, uh, surgical? And be very clear, it all works when you got the when you got the right math, aka the progesterone. So, what were the numbers that that you ran this morning that told you, hey, it's time to breed her? Seventeen. Ooh, seventeen. That's a good number. I like. She, oh, you could keep going. Let's go. She was a uh, five two days ago. She's a seventeen today. Or actually, almost an eighteen. So she doubled. Okay. What's, what what machine are you using? Wafu. Wafu, yeah. Wafu machine. People, look. You need some gloves. You need some lube. And you need a. Uh, <laughs> A condom. <laughs> <laughs> to That's get that is. stuff. And how many cc's does a dog need? Uh, does a female need to get the dog pregnant? Oh, this is our butter right here. Oh, he's wagging that tail. He's happy. He know what time it is. Um, <laughs> it, it's not even about a number. It's about the number of her. You know what I mean? Because you can stretch semen. Yeah. I know that sounds stupid. But no, you no, can, no, no, no. Extenders, stretch. all that stuff. Yeah, you can extend it. Um, Alright, just let me use the, let, let me go poo first, um, yeah, I mean, a, for me, I like, uh, collecting and just doing AI because I'm faster, I don't stress the dogs out, especially bulldogs when they're trying and trying and trying, this ain't pit bulls from 1947, brother, Yeah. you know yeah. what I'm saying, I mean, it's cooler here, but when I lived in Texas, 100 degrees, and that dude trying for 25 minutes, he's done, <laughs> no, listen, he ain't getting no more semen, yeah. he's done, so when he gets too stressed out, the semen basically he's not gonna bust. No, no, up. no. He he done. <laughs> he ain't gonna make it. Yeah, because yeah. then his temperature rises too, which yeah, lowers the vitality. Yeah, I mean, yeah. So you're you're looking at a hundred degree weather and him <laughs> stressing. <laughs> that's stress. That's body. You know everything. So you you take the risk of losing him. Uh -huh. So it's not worth it. So it takes me five seconds, five minutes, whatever. Boom, and boom, AI's boom. for you have always been proficient. Yeah. I can tell if she's ready. To me, I can tell if she's ready by how far the pipette goes in. And on the scale from one to ten, it goes in. how would you rate uh, the value of progesterone tests? A hundred percent. Okay. And it's, I'm asking because it's very important. Some people don't understand uh, how important that is at times. But that also dictates. Uh, I don't have my hat on my head. <laughs> uh, it, it also no, I'm good. It also dictates what form of AI you should do too depending on where you're at on your numbers. So what kind of AIs are there? Oh, for TCI, AI, and the surgical? Yes. Each one of them have their value uh, that you should use. On your first day of doubling, you can do a regular AI, which is free at home, you know what I mean? Um, TCI, and do you do three Do you do you three AIs back to back, or do you just do one? I do one today, I'll skip a day, and I'm done. One more day, one more time, and he's done. I know she's ovulated. I can do two in a row, and she's done. I mean, it doesn't matter. Uh, my, That's the other thing, live, Live coverage is what they call, you know, live semen with no extender straight out of the body into the other body. It lasts the longest. Let me rephrase that because you're gonna, people are gonna question me on that one. A to B, uh -huh. with no outside help, it lasts the longest because yeah. it never touched air. Ah. So everything that semen comes in contact, even inside of her, it starts to kill it. Air kills semen, piss kills semen, blood kills semen. So everything that comes in contact with semen starts to kill it. So if it goes from A to B, you eliminate air, and you're not going to eliminate urine because he does urinate a little bit sometimes. So does that mean? So that would almost mean that the natural tires are part of one of the best ways. Yeah, as far as how long the semen lasts, correct? Okay. Yeah. Um, so they tell you live semen is what no extender from A to B, like literally it doesn't touch anything but the bag and then the vagina. You know what I mean? Uh huh. Um, when you extend it and ship it, chilled semen, it only lasts for 24 hours. They say. Now, I'm telling you what the book says. I've yeah, seen yeah. it last way longer. Of course. This Especially extended. They can last it up to 10, 10 days now. Yeah, case and points are always a, a thing too. But, you know, objectively, you get a 72-hour window to be successful. And then frozen is a 12-hour window. Quick. Yeah, like it literally starts to die because it's been cryogenically frozen. Oh, man. So that's why your numbers are so important. Your first day of doubling, you can do regular AIs. Your second day of doubling, you can do regular AIs and transcervicals. I mean, you can do transcervicals the whole way. You can do them the whole way, just like you can do a regular AI. Uh, surgicals, though, you should wait to day three of doubling. There you go. There you go. You heard it first. So, uh, Gina's about to get out here and help a, help a brother out. <laughs> All right. Janky Noodle time, people. Janky Noodle. Hard, uh, Hold on. I gotta get me over. I just...
All right, we got to let him walk around for a second. Okay. He's too hard um, to pull out of the sheet. Oh, okay. <laughs> so he had already got too big for, for him to come out of that hole. You got to pull it all out of the hole really quick and then squeeze. You don't want it to engorge with blood. He been out here pissing. He pissed twice on this bush. You you don't want him to. So a lot of times you have to sneak sneak him. Because he knows what's about to go down because they'll, they'll get full. He got a sneak and bust a nut. <laughs> That's something that you got to break down too, because those people are like, "Yo, I'm getting a lot of blood, okay. blood calls, all this other don't stuff. What do I do?" Don't bring it yet until I got it out. <laughs> it's better without gloves. <laughs> all right, I got it. I got it. Yeah. 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 It's it's a low it's a low angle. Look at that thing. This is collection time, people. It's collection time. You gotta hold him like this here. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> you, you can do a little squeeze, a little pulsate behind the bowl. Behind you see the bowl? The bowl? He, yeah. he is in, he's in heaven right now. You gotta let him smell it. Give me a song get, in the Green Mile Heaven. I'm in heaven. You get a better collection when they. When uh, your helper brings the JJ up in the air so we can smell it. Thank you. He need that thing on there. Get that man wild up now. So while he's doing that, it's really pulsating back here. I bet he's, he's Yankee Doodle went to town. And some dogs you gotta squeeze. See, so I'm doing a squeeze right now. He's yeah, he, he, he don't hate it. He in Hump City. It is all oh, day Wednesday. It ain't Wednesday. I thought it was Hump Day. Yo, look at this already. Oh man, that's a, that's a lot. Yeah, that's... There's gonna be some babies. This, we, look, you about to get pregnant, mama. And she's ready. Oh, I know. So she's, she's excited. She's look, ecstatic. Just like any... Uh, <laughs> she's giving it up. I'm about to go let it She's down for whatever. <laughs> Don't you see this here? You heard all that good information now. When you're doing your... And then your, you... Wait, you, you want to praise them. Be like, good boy, yeah, good boy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because knows. it makes it easier for the collection. Yeah, so next time, yeah, he's just... Because the first few times, especially, uh, they're a little hesitant. They don't know what's happening. It, they don't know what's going on. Yeah, See, must. this is the bulb, and you got to get that out. It's obviously really tiny at first, but you got to get it out. Godly. Out of the sheath before it swells Woo! like this. So you don't want that to swell up in there. Bless his heart. So... It look painful, brother. No, they don't care. <laughs> so and, that's and the part I got to hold there for. I think we're good. Once it goes clear, once the uh, fluid that's coming out is so yeah. clear, can you get a really good? <laughs> that's some, that's some uh, high quality uh, H2O once it goes right there. Clear, you just <laughs> have prostate fluid at that point. Yeah. It's just prostate. It's clear. So then I hold it. I'm gonna put him away. Come on, boy. <laughs> All a day's work. Look. A few times a day. He's got, he's got the stanky leg right now. <laughs> he's doing the stanky leg. So why why this breeding? What what's special? Why do you guys want to do this breed with these two dogs? So we don't have that much try, which is the the tan points, okay. like a Doberman point. Uh, we don't have that min, many adult dogs with those markings. She's in heat. We just got her back. Her name's Carly Red. Um, she brings a lot of the bulldog features that a lot of oldies are missing. You know that mm. all the way back to the English. She's a she's a size of an old English, but she's the style of an English bulldog. So. We need that and his killer head on her body. Okay. And their moms are sisters, so I should get the head. That's where it's coming from. Yeah, if mom. we could get that head, his head on her body, we're golden. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. Well, look, I'm going to have them in another episode. They're going to break down both collectively. Let me see here. There we go. Oh, there we go. They're going to break down how to put this thing together. I've gotten a lot of questions specific to inbreeding, sister, mom, auntie, uncle, and that other stuff. Hey, what do you think about this? My question back to people off this, what are you doing it for? Because someone told you it's a good idea or because you actually know what you're doing? If you don't know what you're doing, do not cause more problems in any breed, to be clear. So now you're about to uh, you want take to A to B. Let me get a new book. So like we were talking about a few minutes ago, that air kills semen cold kills semen semen once it touches the air it's shocked and then once it gets cold it gets shocked so that's two times you're shocking it right now 
-hmm. So technically, I would take it in and test it. I have a microscope and everything. Yeah, yeah, no, we did. But yes. I'm not going to do it right now. <laughs> it's cold outside. <laughs> and, um, so. Do you have that leash right there? Right there. Right here. So uh, basically, what this is simulating is the male. Yeah. So you're going to put it in. There is two, there is two holes. Yeah, one's uh, a pee hole and then one's yeah. like, yeah. It is very rare that you can get a pipette in there. Yeah, but you can hurt her too if you yes. just start jamming it's around. Very rare that you can get it in there because they have problems getting catheters in. Mm -hmm. So this is bigger than a catheter, you know what I mean? Yeah. So what I do is I put my finger and then I guide on my finger. Yeah. To just make it easier, um, just to make it easier for everybody. Um, so, and then he's have the, gonna hold the lead. I have a lead. So he's gonna hold the leash. Are you about to do it? Okay, there we go. Oh yeah. Guys, you need some good lube. Now, does this lube work on humans or no? Yes. Yeah, what? sure. <laughs> <laughs> what it's I just regular KY. Or <laughs> patrol. <laughs> We've used KY on the dogs and we can't find this. This yeah. angle just helps because every four-legged mammal has a, I don't know the exact terminology. You're going to look up your damn self. There's where their hips go across. Mm -hmm. and there's like a little bump. It's like a speed bump almost. Yeah. Oh my God. So you, if you angle like this, it straightens that that angle straight out. So now type number wise, the pipette should go straight in. There okay. So I'm going to just feel around in here. I've never been in here before, so just to make sure it's a it's a clear shot because sometimes there's things in the way, like a hyamin, because this is her first uh, breeding. Also, oh, this could this is the first breeding with the This is her break, first breeding. Yeah. Could break the hymen. Yeah. Hymenata. So, I mean, I wish I had more lube on my finger right now. Oh, wow. This is when you're going for it, people. I'll tell you right now, this is going for it. So, I put lube on the end of the pipette. Uh-huh. Clean glove. You have to remember, like, sex or intercourse or breeding is not exactly a sterile process. So, it's not like if you're breeding two animals, you're like, oh, wash your dick off first, you know. I hate you, guys. You can bleep that part. <laughs> but, hey, you know. Tell the truth. Shame the devil. <laughs> so... It's not like I'm trying, you know, I'm just trying to do as little, bring, introduce as little bacteria in her as possible by using the glove, yeah. but it's also a lot easier. Look, it, it just went right in. Yeah. It's a lot easier without a glove for me, but for sake of the camera, I'm going to use the glove. <laughs> okay, so look, the pipette went all the way in. I don't know how many inches that pipette is. No. Okay, so I'm pushing it in. There's a little bit of air to get it out of the catheter. I'll pull it Draw up. it out fast. Put another finger in there. And hold to simulate um, Contraction. a shaft. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, you know, once she calms down and, and relaxes, then she should start to pulsate and I'll move around a little bit. She'll flag. Yeah, she'll flag, which means she'll put her butt in the air mm -hmm. to let the dog know, yeah. you know, she's receptive. And usually, you know, this is awkward for her. She's never been touched or anything back here. So, um, because she, it, she is ovulating, and we know that because of the progesterone tests, um, yeah. she's receptive to it. She's like, okay, yeah, sure. Yeah. And then next time we do this, she'll probably be more into it. Uh huh. Once you pop, you can't stop. Remember the Pringle song. <laughs> yeah. So she's good. I mean, she's not fighting us or freaking out. Some of the bigger dogs. So let me ask you this: How important would you say is color when breeding bulldogs or dogs in general? Because um, I know that color is a motivating factor, and I would be remiss if I said it didn't matter. No, it matters. It doesn't matter to us first. That's why we're behind yeah. the color curve when it comes to most breeders. Yeah. But we put other things, you know, like structure, type, substance, Structural good hips, before the quality color. Of life, breathing. Yeah. So we're we're adding the color in now. I mean, we're we're all right. Every, everybody is like color or carries color usually. I mean, mostly. So we're getting there, but like I said, we had to make sure our rears were there. We had to make sure our substance and mass were there. So, um, but now that we've got everything we want, everything's lining up. The puppies are coming out nice. Um, <laughs> the color, the color is just going to. So would you say the, the the breeding stuff too? Like all this equipment you got, you can get this on Amazon, right? I actually ordered oh, this, this? Off of Amazon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All yeah. So that's another thing. So guys, supplies. When you're getting your breeding supplies, for one, you don't want to harm the dog. So we didn't do a step watch, one, step two, step. Brand new every time. This is about to go in the trash. Yeah. So and and for you for you brothers trying to reuse condoms, just throw it in the trash. Throw it in the trash. <laughs> uh, 
Well, they just talk. rather not use a condom than to reuse a condom. Oh, hey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It happens. It happens. And this right here, too, you can get that off Amazon? Yeah, that's where I got it off from. Oh, man, that's clutch right there. So really, there's no excuse, but still, you still need to run progesterone tests, in my opinion, yeah, in your yeah, opinion yeah, as well. Absolutely. I don't know my phone. You yeah. got your phone? Yeah. She texted me this morning. I was in. I was, I was outside. She texted I me text the, him the numbers. The numbers of the dog that was in heat. Yeah. Uh, let's see. See, she was a seventeen point three nine. There you go. And see. two days ago, she was a five flat. Yeah, five flat means it's about to begin, though, right? Five flat is your LH surge, and then you ovulate. Yeah. Okay. Five is one of the numbers you look for. Okay. And then you sh you look for doubling. That's all. Um, now what you do is you write it down. Write that number down. Nine weeks from today, you, you start. The week prior to those nine weeks is when you start paying attention to her temperature. Start paying attention to her appetite. Start paying attention to see if she's nesting. If you look right here, look, look, look. I got a dog that nested right here. Mm -hmm. That's what that divot is. The dog tries to nest. And when you let your dog out, just pay attention to it. You're gonna see a, a clear mucus. Um, it is not her mucus plug. It's just you're gonna see it uh, just a natural Body chemical being created Created um, as she get closer to yes getting rid of the yeah. pups for say. Yeah, you'll see it. You'll notice it um, her 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 ch the, the, the circumference of her belly will go from up here by her breast down to her belly belly you know you'll notice those kind of things and um pay attention to her temperature 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 it is a good indicator it is not always an indicator it is a good indicator that when she's getting close to being ready i tell you that's how i, I so i just got back from kansas city i said i need 24 hours of rest and my friend who's watching my pregnant dog says hey i think she's in labor i go that dog ain't in labor i just laid down and she's like panting i go jesus christ go get the go get the dog on thermometer took the thermometer she had dropped and then I was like, Jesus, let me call the doctor. So they go in, the, they have the same thing. They have, Mom, what time is it? They have contractions. Uh, they have contractions just like humans. Yeah. Um, and yeah. they can go up and down. Just their temperature can go up and down from the pain. Yeah. So just keep an eye on it. She said it's time. Okay, man. Um, it was 10 minutes. It's 25 minutes. Go. Um, so those are the things that you just have to pay attention to. Um, and if she's struggling. If you know you have to put your hands up there to kill, make sure everything's cool, yeah. they're not coming out backwards, they're coming out forward. These are the things that you have to be prepared for. And those are the, those, so. And I will tell you this I don't mean to cut you off. No, you're good. Do not breed a dog unless you can afford a C section. There you go. There you go. That right there. That right there. I'm not saying you're going to need one. But do not breed a dog unless you can pay for a C-section. You know, and I think that's the talk that I'm going to put both Chris and I. We're going to talk a little bit about the business side of this thing. I'd love to get his perspective over the years, investment, all this stuff, because I do a lot of business stuff as well. And I tell people, nowhere in your head would you say, hey, I would go and buy a McDonald's for 800000 or a million dollars and supply it with employees and run a business. You wouldn't think I can go build a Chipotle and do this. So why do you think you could build a dog and make $800,000? It, it kills me. And you don't even got money for a C-section? Hey, man, I got a dog stuck right now. What can I do? I'm like, dude, call me. I'm like, my man. Now, Take I'm it, not, get a C-section. You're like, I, I will tell you. I ain't I, got the money. I'm not telling you that I've been better than anybody. <laughs> I've been there, but I, it took me one time to realize I never wanted to be there again. And that's, look, the, when I posted one of the videos, so, uh, so three, four folks was like, it happened to me. I didn't think that. I thought, oh, natural birth. Yeah. One thing go wrong, it's a wrap. Uh, and my, it ain't about, hey, let's rush to see. It's about, hey, if something happens, then we need to be prepared for that moment. I, I mean, I have one. I'll give you an example. Probably like 15, 20 years ago, I bred her once. No problems. Bred her again. Uh, she went early. She ripped her uterine horn. She lost all the puppies. I had to spare her, and she needed blood transfusions. It cost me like six thousand dollars to save the dog's life, and she could never be used no, again either. Never. Per se, and she was my pet. Like she was legitimately my pet, um, and that's just it. Like I, I wasn't prepared to have six thousand dollars in a C-section. And that's know. the and that's the thing too, people. You look up the average medium household in America; it's seventy nine thousand dollars. So even when the guys are like, "I'm about to make all this money," I'm like, "My man." <laughs> Over 70% of Americans don't make a household means two people with some kids, yeah. 70,000 and some change. Who you selling a dog $30,000 for, boy? Who told you that? Yeah, I just, <laughs> you know, I've the been numbers. there and I made sure that I was never there again. Yeah, it only uh, take one good time. Yeah, so. and I'm, yeah. And I'm not saying that every C-section is $6,000. $6, I'm not no, saying no, that. an average C-section, it, ba it is based off of where you're located. Absolutely. Cali's more expensive. New York's more expensive. Hawaii's awfully expensive. Well, then you go to, you know, Oklahoma. They're roughly about $500. <laughs> when okay. I used to tell people they lived in <laughs> hey, New York, oh, my C-section's 
they're like 350. They're like, what? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Oh, we're paying 3,000. Yeah, easy, easy. So easy. I, I make sure that I at least have $3,000 cash when I breed a dog. So that way I know without a shadow of a doubt I can get a C-section in an emergency. So then do like this, both of you two, if you don't mind. Talk about the first time you did an AI and was successful at home because I think it's important to DIY. I didn't think it was gonna be important long term. And then the more I get into this thing, Clearly, as a business, you want to cut your cost. Yes. And then also, you want to just be able to like take care of your dogs, to say the least. So I know there's got to be an excitement the first time it worked, and then some stress to come along with it as well. And now it's like, win or lose, we'll be okay. <laughs> Bro, you've been people. doing homework the whole time, and now all of a sudden you got homework. We have to do two yeah, be in the video and read. <laughs> I'm gonna be little ass. <laughs> oh, hold on. <laughs> All right, now you can go ahead. <laughs> I can remember who taught me how to AI, and when he was teaching me, I was saying the same thing that you guys are saying. Like, you want me to do what? Hell no! I ain't doing that to no damn dog. Like, bro, I, 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 I couldn't. I couldn't. I would have I would have never thought in a million years <laughs> I'd be giving dogs hand jobs for thirty five hundred dollars. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like bro, I'm being honest, like bro, like I mean I grew up in the inner city. Man, we don't talk about that kind of stuff. You know what I'm saying? And, hey look, I was there but I said, you know what's so crazy? There's a lack of we'll just say the we we'll use the term intimacy, but care and love amongst brothers per se. Yeah. Where you know you see other colors, like if anything and everything, anything you say, you're like, bro, you, you know, here we go. Here, and, and now you think about it, now you go, that's that's normal behavior. Yeah. And it should be carried out that way because somebody should care about you, you know what I mean? But I mean, when I first was trying to learn how to do it, I remember somebody was standing there. He's, <laughs> he's famous now, and I ain't going in the dog space. I ain't going to say who he is. And he was just like, nah, man, brothers don't do that. <laughs> Yo, brothers don't do that. Uh, and I was like, oh, man, I guess this is a white person thing. You know what I mean? Bro, but them brothers do that. Now, them now. brothers do that. I'm saying right now. Now, years later, he's somebody super important in 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 bull, I mean, in, in uh, dogs, and I know he does it. Yeah, he got no and choice. I, I make fun of him when every time I see him, I'll be like, "Yo," he be like, "Man, shut your ass up." <laughs> but and the reality is, it's so much easier, man. Yeah. It saves. It, it's for health purposes. It helps the dog, um, especially when I lived in Texas. Now I could have probably done it naturally here right now because it's cool enough. Mm -hmm. He'd been cool. You know what I mean? And but why? I'm done. I can wash my hands and I can go cook dinner. And it only took me five minutes. Yeah, it didn't. It didn't. It, it didn't. I don't have to stand here for forty-five minutes while they're stuck together. Yeah, I told somebody too. You know, I did that video. I said, "Look, y'all want to know how stressful it is? Imagine somebody yanking you around for about two to three minutes. Two uh, to three? Exactly. They could be tied up for a minute, and then the female doesn't know what's up. She'll start spinning and she hurt, can and spin. break it. She you can know? break it. Yeah, see what I'm saying? And it's just not worth it. No, I mean to me, if you Looking at it from a business perspective, that's the, uh, that's the cat, cat on their wheel. On the wheel. Oh, we yeah. got a cat wheel. <laughs> on the treadmill for the cats. Oh, oh, oh. So <laughs> if you look at it from a business perspective, time is money. Always. I'm done. Five minutes later, I'm done. I don't have to stand here for an hour. I don't have to take a risk of her hurting him or he hurting, vice versa. You know what I mean? Yeah. Nobody getting hurt. I can put everybody away. I can mitigate all the risk by doing it this way. So the other way is you, you put a risk. There's a human factor, not human, but dog factor of them hurting each other. Him clawing her all up. So then how excited were you guys both the first time the, the, the female took and you were like, yeah, that shit worked. I wouldn't, I wouldn't say it was ever that smooth for me. Uh, before him, I didn't know what the hell to do. I, I was like turkey baster. You know, I'm sure everybody had done through the same thing. I was, they would use like a, the fishing tube line, like an airline for the fish tank. There was all kinds of things. I will tell you one thing you never want to do is put a dog's leash in your mouth because I fucked up my teeth by trying to do an AI and had a big old bitch that was wild hold the leash in my in my mouth and like all my teeth got loose and I had to get new ones. Dang. Just yeah. from dog she had breeding. Yeah, buy, buy a whole new grill. And I and sometimes I find Wall. myself like, <laughs> nah. So for me, was I excited? Uh, the very first one that I did by myself. I still have the same excitement. She'll tell you, I just got that new Wanfo. I'm 100% on it. 
protect as far as females getting pregnant. What are you uh -huh. talking about? What's a wanfo? The, the machine to protect. No, it's like Fenacare or something like that. Well, it's called a wanfo. Oh. Um, so I'm 100% on it. Mm -hmm. Like every dog that I've bred on it has taken. Every single one. So that's the same excitement as the very first time. So it's more of a challenge. It's like, for me, it's about not being right. It's nothing about being right. It's about it worked. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It was a good investment. <laughs> I did it. I learned it. And that right there is how business is built to people. Just, hey, we, it's like if it ships to you, oh, wow, that worked. We yeah. could do something here. Yeah. There's something special here. Well, that's good. Well, look, you guys just got to watch an AI. Uh, I gotta AI. tell you something funny, man. A Yankee. <laughs> Why is that uh, thing on top of the camera look like your head? Uh, which one? <laughs> look like your head. <laughs> oh. Oh. Look, I got the gray rocking. I, can't, I, can't, I was going to get a haircut, but I said, you know what? My man Chris be out here looking he like a... Virginia. I know, he looking like a wild animal at times. So yeah. I said, we're going to be in the woods. I ain't got nothing special to be looking like. We're going to be shooting and being with dogs. I only brought my muddy boots. Yeah. <laughs> so we can enjoy ourselves. But, hey, that's crazy. It does look like my hair, man. So dumb, bro. <laughs> oh, so guys, thank you again. Because, look, I think they're going to learn something. We, we got so much to do over the next 48 hours, people. Stay and tuned. And it's dark early. It's I see, I see. It's I saw the ass here. That's why I asked him, I said, what's going on? It's getting too dark too soon. It ain't, it ain't no sun. Take care of your dogs, people.